Hey, how y'all doing? Now that it's easy work boxing, baby. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what time it is. Got to talk about my favorite fighter, Mr. Keith One Time Thurman. Goes in on Bob Arrow. And man, did he go in? Did he say some things that we have never heard fighters just blatantly come out and say? You know, we have seen or we have heard things after they left Bob Arrow. But Keith Thurman just put him on blast. First, before I go into what Keith Thurman said, people have to understand how Bob Arum even got into the sport of boxing. Bob Arum, if you don't know, was a lawyer who was called in to try to stop corruption in boxing. Yes, Bob Arum was a lawyer. So I guess when Bob Arum came to see all the corruption that was going on in boxing, he seen a glitch in the matrix, and he said, you know what, fuck that. I'm finna become a promoter and make all this money. So that's what Bob did. So that should let y'all know that Bob, damn, they're scandalous from jump. So people shouldn't expect too much of good out of Bob Arrow. Now, uh, like Keith Thurman said, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Terrence finna get ready to leave him, uh, and many others probably want to leave him because Bob Arum is making money off the back of Mexican, Latino, and all nationality of fighters. Uh, Bob Arum don't get a punch to his fucking face. He don't have to make weight, nothing, but yet he has enough money and probably left over to take care of his children, his grandchildren, off the backs off the backs of fighters. So really, you have to understand what Keith Thurman is saying is really an insult at the end of the day. When you sit up here and you making millions off of us and yet you want to lowball me when I'm going in at a risk of my life. So, you know, uh, I don't know what's going on with the situation of Bob Arum and Terrence Crawford, but I know we might not still fight from Terrence Crawford probably until uh, his contract is up due to the fact that Bob Arum is not willing to pay opponents, you know, trying to make Terrence Crawford look bad. They already saying that uh, Terrence is afraid of Sean Porter. Uh, if Keith would have came out and said this, they probably would have said that Terrence is afraid of uh, Keith as well. But basically the problem is when you got a promoter that won't, don't want to pay nobody and don't nobody want to really fight you, and especially if you're a risk like Terrence Crawford. Now I've been telling people from jump for a long time. Terrence Crawford versus uh, Ter no Terrence Crawford versus Keith Thurman is the real what to wait fight. A lot of people believe it's Spence versus Crawford. I don't think so. I think the real amazing fight that everybody gonna want to see for real is Terrence Crawford versus Keith Thurman. But uh, you just gotta go with everything that Keith Thurman said basically about Bob Arum. It's the truth. Bob Arum want to lowball people. You know um, he ain't right. You know Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, many other fighters have went through the same situations with Keith, I mean, with uh, Bob Arum. But like I said, you have to understand and remember how Bob Arum even got into the sport of boxing. He he's seen some scandals and he rolled with it. He ain't he's a Jewish Don King. <laughs> I mean, any promoter, people have to understand his peddling in the flesh. You know, his promoters are basically there to make money off your sweat, your blood, and your tears. You know, so. You know, it's real messed up that uh, Bob Arum is doing this, you know, lowballing people, you know. But that's on him because uh, his bread and butter gone. His uh, Basile Lomachenko, you know, he ain't really that valuable no more. He still can make money for him. Uh, Terrence leave. I mean, who do he really have left there for him? You know what I'm saying? After he done pushed Lomachenko so much, you know, and forgot about everybody else, you know, I'm sure don't nobody really want to be over there with Bob Arum. So you got to think about some contracts as well now. Because if he a lawyer, I wonder how much uh, his fighters are missing out their paychecks. Because he know how to work around things because he know law. You know what I'm saying? So this opened up, you know, a lot of things about boxing, especially with Terrence Crawford now. You know, now we see why it is it's so hard for him to get the caliber opponents because he got a cheap-ass promoter. His promoter don't want to pay nothing. Don't nobody want to fight him. So, you know, that that helps Terrence, you know, with what's been said and what's going on with his name in the sport of boxing. So I don't know if Keith did that on purpose, but actually Keith came out and helped, you know, the situation of what's going on so we could stop these Terrence's ducking rumors and he's scared of this person and that person when really it's just his promoter. Don't want to see him shine. Don't want to see him have a good fight. So he's going to keep lowballing everybody. So like I said, y'all, we probably won't see Terrence Crawford until – uh, later on, probably this summer or something like that, whenever his contract up, due to the fact that Bob, you know what I'm saying, just don't want to be his promoter no more. And lowballing people and things of that nature, trying to, like Keith Thurman said, trying to get discounts and, you know,
you know, things like that. You know, it ain't right, man, because I tried to come in the best way. I tried to say you know, I was going to use the Floyd Mayweather Oscar effect. You know, Floyd had to go through this to get a fight. But really, you can't offer the men $1 million to go out there and, you know what I'm saying, give us a, a, a great fight like that between them two, man. Come on now. That's Keith Thurman, man. Bob, you got to do way better than that. At least 2.5, 3 million, something. You're going to make your money back, Bob. So really, and that's the thing about it when you really think about it. It just had to be that Bob Aaron being spiteful. Because we all know Keith Thurman and uh, Terrence Crawford will make some damn money. It's just he being spiteful and he want to hold out Terrence probably to the end of his contract. You know, that's just my opinion on, opinion on it. I feel that Keith Thurman was exactly right. I'm happy that he came out and told the truth on Bob Arum so we can all get an understanding of what he out there doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. You know, my opinion on, like I said, you know, you got to remember, well, you got to remember the fruits of their labor. You know, he came in to stop corruption. He didn't stop corruption. He joined it. So don't expect nothing good from Bob Arum. You know, don't expect the truth from Bob Arum. He a shyster, most promoters. I mean, promoters, are, that's just what promoters are. They got to make money off your back. You know what I'm saying? So thank God for Keith Thurman putting him on blast. Uh, I would love to see that fight between Porter and Terrence or Keith Thurman and Terrence. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all drop your comments, man. Let me know how y'all feel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is a word box, and thank y'all for y'all time. I'm out.